there are only two scenarios when you can make a lot of money in any industry and those two scenarios are either evolution or disruption now this is 2025 and hello everybody my name is shaker and today we are going to talk about how can you crack biotech interviews easily quickly in this era of disruption and evolution so like i told you earlier we are living in the era of disruption and evolution now let us understand what is actually forcing the biotech industry to evolve and at the same time what is actually disrupting the biotech industry altogether okay one trend which has always disrupted the pharma and biotech industry is biosimilars because a lot of drugs patent expires and then biosimilars comes up okay that always disrupts but the new trends in the industry is now disrupting the industry and forcing the industry to evolve now one particular trend which is actually helping every industry evolve is AI and machine learning. We'll come to that a little later in the biology side, but now let us understand how AI is impacting hiring in the biotech industry. In fact, it is impacting every industry now. So earlier it was like you used to send a CV and a human used to read it, right? But what if I tell you in 2025, it's all gonna change. How? Because from now and beyond, no human will read your CV first, it will be a AI which will analyze your CV. And AI will be smart enough to analyze if your CV has the right keywords which matches with the job description and give the recruiter or the HR team a recommendation. So probably they will never ever see your CV. So now the time has come to first get your CV notice because even before you crack the interview, if you are not able to you know, get your CV notice, you are never going to get a call also for interview, right? So start looking at the CV. Is it having those keywords which are there in the job? So now no longer need to send a, you know, one CV which fits all. One size fits all will not work. You can also use AI to design your CV and now you can use the keywords from the job description in your CV and then you send. So your chances of getting a shortlist is higher. But of course you should not fake it. What Whatever is the skill set you have, you should always include that. Now, having said that, what are the industry trends you should know first? Currently, we are seeing gene editing, gene therapy, which is growing leaps and bounds exponentially, CRISPR, personalized medicine. This is disrupting the market dynamics as well as help, you know, helping the entire biotech industry grow. Then we also have uh, regulatory environment changing now. Now with Trump coming into the office uh, of the United States of America as president. And of course, uh, a lot of past incidents is guiding the current regulatory environment. So FDA, EMA is coming up with newer processes, newer protocols for approval, compliance. These challenges are going to generate more employment. So like I said, this is disruption. Now, the key players uh, in this industry, the major startups, which we have, I have already told in the previous videos also, Illumina, Moderna, RT Therapeutics, various other companies are there. So yeah, that is going to be a huge boom in the near future. Now, having said that, if you want to crack these interviews, first you have to analyze what is in the job description and prepare yourself thoroughly, thoroughly about what can be a potential question in the interview for this particular job description. Of course, you can use, also use AI to get the list, okay? And also in the comment section, I will try to put in the top 500 uh, questions which are asked in the biotech industry. You can go and freely download it. Now that you have gained all that, now, so you have to first do the research on the company. You have to research on what they're doing, what is their product, what are their uh, products in the pipeline. Now coming to the role, okay, what role they are hiring right now, what are the job description, what are the uh, responsibilities we have, and then go and network with people who are working in a similar domain, in similar position, and ask what kind of questions they got. Or just see what kind of uh, content they are posting, that will also give you an idea. Now, followed by that, you should also go and analyze that technical and domain expertise. If you are applying for a molecular biology job, so of course, brush up your molecular biology skills, have some hands-on certification, online or offline uh, workshops. Make sure that your scientific fundamentals are in place and then work on your technical proficiency working in a lab hands-on that's very very important and if it is a dry lab if you're targeting a dry lab like bioinformatics and artificial intelligence you can always take help of biotechnica you can uh, check the details in the description we have the bioinformatics and global tools and techniques internship followed by projects from our sweden based pharmaceutical partners we also have artificial intelligence and biology training program followed by internship so you can take help of that also now, you should also acquaint yourself with industry tools and 
software. Now, there are various analytical tools, various instruments, HPLC, GC, LCMS, then the softwares which is used. In collaboration with these, you should also learn those. You, you know, in fact, if you enroll yourself with the placement cell of Biotechnica, if you are enrolled in any of the courses, you are automatically enrolled in the placement cell. They'll train you on the types of interviews. They'll train you on the technical assessment, which you should take periodically so that you are aware of what kind of questions are coming. And then the behavioral questions which the HR will ask. These three determine whether you will crack the interview or not. You have to master the interview process, right? And how do you do that? You can take help of Biotechnica. We conduct so many mock interviews. It's kind of a stress testing. You sit in an interview, they will ask questions, you answer. And then also side by side, develop your portfolio of projects, publish papers and improve on your soft skills. Like I said, the company is evolving, the industry is evolving. New technologies are disrupting the existing processes. But you should not become a disruptor in the company, okay? You should not go in there and, you know, start saying that I will not follow these protocols. You have to portray during your interviews that you are here to follow the protocols which the company has because biotech is a strict regulatory environment, okay? You can't just go in and have your own way of doing things, okay? So you have to follow, you have to be aware and follow the good manufacturing practices guideline and all of that whenever you are handling the interview during the interview you have to smile you have to say stay peaceful you should not panic you should handle technical questions with ease and do not even if you don't know the answer say that you don't know the answer don't give a wrong answer or don't say that okay i knew i am not remembering right now instead say that i don't know it is okay to not know then to bluff okay so don't do that also during uh, interviews don't shake your legs don't uh, you know uh, look around look into the interviews eyes be peaceful answer it in a peaceful manner many a times they will give you scenario based questions okay based on some hypothesis some theory so prepare hypothetical scenarios in your mind before going and they'll give you a decision making question like okay uh, this is the experiment going on this is what happened and this is also going on so what would you do right prioritization they will see they'll also see the ethical considerations you might have so they'll ask you questions based on that so be ready to answer such questions whenever you uh, like okay uh, suppose next one hour you are going to write the interview or going to give the interview or some question exams um, based on that interview review and revise Stay calm, stay composed, don't panic, don't shake your legs too much because even if you are waiting in the interview lobby, there will be a CCTV and somebody is watching your body line. Also, please don't post something offensive on your LinkedIn, on your Facebook because people are going to check that before they hire you, okay? And during the interview also, if they ask you for references, be confident. Don't just give your professor as a reference. You can always, if you are a student of Biotechnica, you can give my reference. You can give someone else in the industry who with whom you have worked. and. Uh, be ready to get cross-examined for your concepts. Don't be egoistic. Don't think that uh, they are going to insult you. Okay. They may try to insult you just to see your stress tolerance. Okay. That's not really that they are trying to insult you. They're trying to test how would you behave in case such situations arise. Okay. So basically, interview is a stress testing. Like you in your, in your drug discovery experiments or drug stability experiments, what do you do? You do a stress testing, right? interview is like a stress testing so don't panic okay and they may give you a, a research paper say that okay interpret it they may give you some experimental data ask you to conclude they may give you some kind of uh, case studies right analyze it whatever comes in your mind reply don't panic okay if you panic that is where the interview is over and you are out of the, the door and you will never get that job to help you Biotechnica has several online courses, certifications. We conduct regular workshop. The next week we are conducting the cancer genomics workshop. We also conduct a lot of mentorship sessions and interview training sessions. Middle of February, we are also going to come up with a placement training uh, workshop and webinar. So you can also participate there. So my suggestion is subscribe to Biotechnica. That's the platform where you will get all the ideas about this. If you're watching this um, beyond February of 2025, of course, these tips will still be relevant unless some other disruption happens thanks to AI. So be ready to learn AI, ML and be analytical in your approach and stay calm. Do not panic. You are going to crack that interview if you believe so. So all you have to do is believe in yourself and move forward. My best wishes and blessings are always with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.